welcome, 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 welcome. This is your boy, the host with the most, but humble, and I do mean humble, Dino Stranavis, a.k.a. Derek, and I am here on a Friday to give you the hungry, happy, healthy people here at WrestleCram. Of course, this is the Nostra Novice Predictions of AEW Revolution 2024. If you're watching this today, you're watching this tomorrow, you're watching it next week. I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depths. The depths of my loins. I truly, truly do thank you. Without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me. I'm humbled eyes each and every single time I'm allowed to do this. Thank you so much for watching the show. Thank you so much for allowing your boy, D. No, it's obvious for doing the show. Yes, I have a hoodie on. It is very chilly here in Louisiana. It's really creepy. It was hot last week. Now it's cold. And, you know, it is what it is. Uh, spring is right around the corner. Right? It's creepy. But it, it is what it is. It, it, it is what it is. It is. It is. And, and when I'm cold, it is cold because I'm not a cold nature person. That's the crazy thing about it. When it's cold and when I'm cold, it has to be cold. It's not even that cold outside. That's the creepy thing about it. But anyway, you are not here to listen to my trials and tribulations of the weather. You are here for one thing and one thing only. My, my predictions of AEW Revolution. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So as soon as this video pops up, you will be one of the first to watch it. How about that? Don't forget, I'm on the TikToks. I'm on uh, Facebook. Uh, I do have my own Facebook group club. It is called WrestleCram Super Club. So go check me out over there as well. Also, I'm on, um, what, X or Twitter. I'm on that as well. I do have the shorts that are coming back. The shorts are coming back. So hold off. It, it's coming back. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a short on this one as well. So the shorts are coming back. They're going to come back next week. So don't worry about that. They are coming back, okay? Um, so, uh, I have nine matches on the card this go around. Uh, they, they do their card a little different. They have the top card on the top and it, it goes down. So I have to go from bottom to top when it comes to this one. So, um, nine, nine matches, uh, they, uh, stem from, I want to watch this. I want, really, really want to watch this, uh, to why is this on uh, why is on? But we're not here to talk about that. We're just here to talk about, of course, the, the, the card. How about that? So, uh, the very first card is going to be the All-Star Scramble match. This was supposed to be uh, the match, uh, the Meat Madness match uh, against um, Wardlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Archer. But it does look like we do have an injury, and that's going to be from Wardlow, and they had to change the match. Uh, Tony Khan did announce this on Twitter or X that uh, due to injury, we are going to just change the match. So now instead of it being a, a three, a, a triple threat, it is a eight-man uh, scr all-star scramble match. Uh, that match is going to consist of Chris Jericho. No, 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 because it's still saying Wardlow is on here. So, I don't know. It is what it is. So, it's going to be uh, Chris Jericho of uh, Wardlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, Lance Archer, Hook, Brian Cage, Magnus, and Daniel, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Dante Martin. I said Daniel, Dante Martin. Um... This is a match I really could care less about. Uh, I really think uh, that two people in this match should win. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to name uh, one. Um, it is a coin flip to me between Wardlow and uh, uh, Powerhouse Hobbs. They two truly do need this win. Why is Chris Jericho in this match? I don't know. I don't I'm not understanding why we are consistently getting Chris Jericho on our TVs. Uh, they still have not addressed the situation uh, with uh, uh, the uh, ex-female uh, wrestler and uh, the NDA. So, I mean, you're going to continuously get a lot of boos from uh, the fans from Chris Jericho. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to bring a lot of the situation down. 
Dante Martin, I don't know why he's in this match, even though I'm a big fan of Dante Martin. Magnus, don't even know who this guy is, so I couldn't even tell you. Uh, Hook, okay. Um, uh, Hook had a really great uh, couple of weeks, um, so I really do like that he's in this, but does he need to be in this? That's the thing. He's a champion. What is the point of Hook being in this uh, match? Uh, also, we have Lance Archer. I haven't seen Lance Archer in a very long time. Goodness gracious. I would love to see him and Jade the Snake. So it does look like it's going to be a very interesting situation with Lance Archer. And hopefully they try to push him again. I, I really enjoyed uh, him versus Cody Rhodes. That was a really good match. Uh, also, uh, we have Powerhouse Hobbs, who I truly think uh, should win. I really think he should win. But, you know, we are trying to push the Undisputed Kingdom. So, my choice in this match will be Wardlow. It's going to be Wardlow winning over uh, Chris Jericho, Powerhouse Hobbs, uh, Lance Archer, Hook, Brian, uh, Brian, I keep saying Brian Cage, uh, Magnus, and uh, Dante Martin. The next match is going to be for a, a tag team match. This is going to be from FTR, uh, which is, of course, Dax and uh, Cash, versus the Blackpool Combat Club, which is John Moxley and uh, uh, Claudio Castanoli. Now, here's the thing that was killing me about this match. Why is this match here? No, what not? Yes, we did not get a conclusion to the tag match between the two uh, because uh, time did expire. I do understand that situation. Uh, I do know that there is beef between uh, John Moxley and uh, uh, Dax. Uh, but, you know, once again, why is this match on uh, a pay-per-view to me? I'm not understanding that. It looks like that FDR is just, they are jobbing out to crap that should not, they shouldn't be jobbing out to. I truly think that FDR is one of the best tag teams in the industry right now, and we are not seeing that. We're not seeing the fruits of the labor as of right now. They, to me, they had one of the best matches of 2023 uh, between uh, him and the Bang Bang Game Bullet Club, Club Gold. But now it just seems like we're just, they're just going with the flow until it's time for their contract to expire in the next, what, three years? Um, Claudio hasn't been relevant in a very long time. I truly hate that the fans will not get behind Claudio Castanoli. He is really, really good. Why isn't he in the uh, main event scene trying to get a, a, a number one contendership spot? And John Moxley is just going to be John Moxley. I do like John Moxley. I do like Dean Ambrose. But John Moxley is going to be John Moxley, no matter shape or form. Um, I mean, their 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 wrestling styles just don't match with a uh, John Moxley death match. I need to bleed, and you need to bleed. I need to bite you, type of situation. So this match, I truly think, is going to be the weirdest match on the card. But I truly think that the Black. Pool Combat Club, Claudio Castanoli and John Moxley are going to beat a FDR team that truly probably needs this win. But I do have a uh, Blackpool Combat Club winning this match. After that, we have a match which I I'm really looking forward to watching, uh, which is Christian Cage. This is Christian Cage, the champion uh, of the TNT title, versus a hungry, hungry uh, Daniel Garcia. Uh, this match looks really good. Of course, um, uh, Christian Cage is crapping on Daniel Garcia's uh, deceased father. Uh, we do have some people now uh, hovering around Daniel Garcia. Thank goodness uh, we got uh, Daddy Magic uh, uh, coming back. Uh, to uh, help out uh, with this situation. So we will see what happens with this. But the question is, who truly, truly needs this win? Who truly needs this win? And to me, I think that Christian Cage is doing a phenomenal job with the TNT title. Unfortunately, I do love Daniel Garcia, but I think that it should be a bigger person to take that title off of Christian Cage. Unfortunately, it's not Daniel Garcia. I think this is going to be a really fun match. But I do have Christian Cage winning over Daniel Garcia. Uh, another match, it's a head scratcher. I don't know why this match is here. Only just because we want to put 
our new signee into a match. This is Will Ospreay versus Kanosuke Kakeshka. Um, now, uh, once again, I truly, it's just a head scratcher because I truly thought that uh, Will Ospreay was not part of the family, but I thought that he was like a, a person that was cool uh, with uh, Don Callis and, 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 you know, everybody in that family because we did have a match uh, with them uh, and um, uh, Will Ospreay against a lot of other people on uh, All In. So it really didn't make any sense to me that we have this match between two people. I thought that was really good. Once again, AW with the bad booking, unfortunately. This is totally bad booking. And they just wanted to put Will Ospreay in a match. Here's the thing. If I was a booker, if I was a booker, I would have had somebody just come out every single week and just tear down Will Ospreay. Talk about how bad he is. Have a heel out there. Because it looks like you want to have Will Ospreay as a face for the time being. But have somebody there that who knows uh, uh, Will Ospreay intimately. And have them like, yo, I don't like this guy. I don't know why he's here. And then build up to a match where you would have a really compelling uh, storyline between... Uh, Will Ospreay and whoever he's facing. Look, I love both of them. I think Kanosuke Kakeshka is truly a, truly a, a generational talent. I truly think that he's really, really good. Also, uh, match uh, match of the year uh, last year uh, that I put in there between Will Ospreay and uh, Kenny Omega. Really, really great. Really great. I really enjoyed the Will Ospreay and Chris Jericho match as well. I do see uh, this uh, happening uh, pretty soon that both of these uh, individuals will have a run with the AEW World Champion uh, Championship. I truly do. But here's the thing. I don't know if they're trying to build toward Kanosuke and, and Will Ospreay having a match. But we already know who's going to win this match. We already know who is going to win this match. If Will Ospreay does not win this match, I will be completely lost with everything. So I do have Will Ospreay winning this match. Uh, after that, we have another match that I really, really want to see. This is the King of the Bums. Uh, this is the triple champion, uh, Eddie Kingston versus Brian Danielson. This is one of the matches I truly, truly, truly would like to see. Um, and, I mean, uh, Brian Danielson has been crapping on uh, Eddie Kingston for a very, very long time. So, uh, I want to see this match. I truly think that Eddie Kingston is going to get this win. But I wouldn't be mad at Brian Danielson if he does win this match. But I do have Eddie Kingston winning this match. Uh, after that, I have uh, another match that is kind of, I want to watch uh, the only female match on the card. Thank you, Lazy Booking. Once again, I'm going to steal that from Jim Carnett, Lazy Booking. But we have Timeless Tony Storm versus uh, Deanna Perrazzo. This is for the uh, AEW Women's Championship. Uh, once again, I'm going to lock this as a lock, lock, lock. Timeless Tony Storm is going to win. Um, and that's pretty much all of that. That's just, yeah. Anyway, uh, after that, we're going to have um, the men's world champion, which is a Samoan Joe versus a heel hangman, Adam Page, and a face, Swerve Strickland. Really, really weird about this or whatnot. I'm very lost behind this. Uh, I, I I don't have a lot to talk about with this match. Um, Samoan Joe just got that title, A. Uh, B, I think that they're going to try to extend this uh, feud between Adam Hangman Page and Swerve Strickland just the different ways away because now we have a heel Adam Hangman Page and a face Swerve Strickland who has a heel faction or whatnot. So um, it's, the, the, the math isn't mathing. I'm, I'm so lost with this. But I truly think that Samoan Joe is going to win this match due to the fact that uh, Adam Hangman Page and uh, Swerve Strickland can't get out of their ways. Uh, henceforth, I truly think that Swerve is going to take this pin. Do I think Swerve needs to take this pin? No, he does not need to take this pin. But he's going to take the pin because, you know, heels usually don't take the pin. So I do have uh, Samoa Joe winning this match probably very easily. Uh, after that, after that, we have... Uh, Another match that I am very interested in. Uh, this is the uh, for the AEW International Championship, um, or is it is it still called? Yeah, International. I thought it was 
called Steel Atlantic. But the international title, this is from, uh, this is Orange Cassidy versus Roderick Strong, uh, the co, I would say the co-leader of the Undisputed Kingdom. I truly think that the Undisputed Kingdom is going to win all their matches this go around. And I truly think that Roderick Strong is going to be the very first person to get a title uh, other than um, the other members who have the AEW tag title. But he'll be the first one to actually have a title inside the uh, Undisputed Kingdom. And I truly think that Roderick Strong is going to win, probably from uh, Dirty Tactics, of course. But who cares? Roger Stone is going to be the new international champion. Uh, Orange Cassidy did a great job holding that title. So number one, hands down to Orange Cassidy for holding down that title. Hands down. I, I truly think Orange Cassidy is a, another future world champion. I truly do. Uh, you could talk about the, the gimmick or the comedy angle. I truly think that he's a really great wrestler. So, I, But I do have Roger Strong winning this title. And the number one uh, 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 match that the match that I really, really want to see, actually, good storytelling from AEW this go around. And I do have this as my lock as well. I have two locks, uh, but I do have this as a lock. Um, I, uh, it's going to be Sting and Darby Allen, which are the AEW Tag Champions, versus the Young Bucks. I truly think this match is going to be the match of the night, you guys. I truly do. This is going to be a, a great, great, compelling match. Uh, hopefully, we do get a lot of, of, of tables. I would have loved that it, it, it would have been a, uh, a ladder match uh, or a, yeah, a ladder match. But I guarantee there's going to be tables, uh, chairs. It's going to be a lot of fun with Sting probably doing suicides, uh, suicide dives. Off of um, in front of the fans. Uh, this is going to be a very fun match. But once again, I did say this is going to be a lock. I truly think that Sting is going to leave AEW undefeated. I think Sting and Darby Allen will retain those titles, relinquishing those titles on Wednesday uh, of the next Dynamite. I truly think that's what's going to happen, and we will have a tournament. That's what it looks like is going to happen. Hopefully. Tony Khan, AEW, the writing staff, does not drop the ball with this match. They should not drop the ball with this match. Sting and Darby Allin uh, should uh, retain. Sting being on top of everything, and they have confetti, the name, I mean, just the fireworks. Every single thing should happen with Sting's final match. It should happen, okay? Can't wait to see this match. Very fun. I think it's gonna be a very fun match. But let's break it down. Let's break it down. Number nine, of course, I'm gonna have a uh, uh Wardlow winning against Chris Jericho, uh Powerhouse Hobbs, Lance Archer, Hook, Brian Cage, Magnus, and Dante Martin. I have the Blackpool Combat Club beating FTR. I have Christian Cage retaining his title against Daniel Garcia. I have Will Ospreay winning against Kanosuke Kakeshka. I have Eddie Kingston retaining his title against Brian Danielson. My first lock of the night is going to be Timeless Tony Storm retaining her title against Deanna Prazo. I have Samoan Joe retaining his title against Hangman Page and Swerve Strickland. I have a change. I have Roderick Strong uh, taking that title off of Orange Cassidy. And my final lock of the night, I do have uh, Sting and Darby Allin beating the Young Bucks to retain their AEW Tag Champions. What do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? What do you think? I know that there's only one, one title I think is going to... I think one title is going to be uh, not uh, it's going to be taken or not. So uh, if you want to put your your suggestions in, there, if you want to put anything in there, you think that who's going to win, who's going to lose, I may be wrong. I may be completely wrong. But you put it in the comments, okay, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget I'm on the TikToks. I'm on Twitter or X. I do have my own Facebook group club as well. So don't forget about that as well. Uh, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. The best is truly yet to come. The best 
is truly yet to come. Until next time, love, peace, and of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, wrestling.